Hello everyone, Ember here, and welcome back to a new video. In this one, I'm going to be going over my current thoughts on the state of GLC. And if you're wondering as to why there's a bunch of secret rares for Obsidian Flames in the background, don't worry, that will become relevant later on in the video. So basically, the state of GLC is a bit of a weird one to talk about, because of course, since the loss of TCG Online, there's no real proper way to play it online, which we will go into later on, and I will offer a bit of a solution, I guess, but it's not really a major solution. However, GLC has been doing pretty well, I would say, in IRL tournaments. You know, NAIC was a pretty good example of that, and I'd imagine they'll also be seeing We'll also be seeing some kind of like major event at Worlds hopefully take place with GLC. And of course, if you can persuade anyone IRL to build GLC, that's obviously great. But unfortunately, GLC is pretty limited in that sense. And if you want to play an online version, you basically have to, you, well, you, well, you know, you have to play with like webcams if you want to do an online tournament. But to play online is basically impossible since TCGO shut down. So my main solution to this, which I'm sure a lot of people have already talked about and have considered, but it doesn't seem to be that prevalent within the community, is kind of maybe that TCG Live could be used for GLC Standard. So GLC Standard is, of course, a lot more limited, and I can understand why a lot of the GLC community isn't such a big fan of it because of, you know, the lack of cards in it. It's definitely not the same card pool, of course. It is more limited in that sense, but it's still a way of playing GLC online. It's also a way of getting more players into GLC, which is a bit of, you know, it's like an underrated statement because, of course, the average casual player is not going to be attending NAIC or the World Championships. They might be watching them sometimes, but they're obviously not going to be attending them. And if they don't play IRL frequently, then the next best thing is the online client. So I do think it would be a good way of getting at least new players into actual GLC at the very least, even if it's not its own self-sustaining version of the format. Because, you know, if it's just limited to IRL and tabletop, then, you know, not everyone really wants to watch tabletop. I know there's been more of a push towards tabletop since live is, of course, such a buggy mess sometimes. But honestly, watching tabletop gameplay doesn't feel super great, in my opinion. I think it's decent for deck profiles and such, but honestly, I don't prefer it personally. That's obviously just a personal choice, but I can understand why, you know, most players would not want to watch tabletop GLC as opposed to if it was on TCG Online, for example, where it's a lot faster. So that's kind of my overall thoughts on standard GLC and why it's kind of relevant with Obsidian Flames and why I'm even bringing this up in the first place again, because I have brought this up in the past where I think standard GLC could be cool. Basically, when we get these kind of dud sets like Obsidian Flames, where there's really not much added to the game, I know there's going to be some YouTubers that do their absolute best to make such clickbait titles as this new Charizard EX is broken, you know, the ones I'm talking about. But, you know, aside from all the fun decks that you can make with some of these cards, unfortunately, you know, they are pretty subpar. You know, let's be honest with ourselves. And so I don't think the attention on Obsidian Flames will be that great. Now, fortunately, we do have the World Championships. And we do also have the release of Pokemon Card 151 pretty soon in September, which is good. So we won't have to wait that long for more playable cards. But unfortunately, it's still a lot of meh stuff, really. There's nothing too crazy in both of these sets. So I can see a lot of players, maybe not so much casual, but maybe some more competitive players just get a little bit tired of standard. And, you know, it can be pretty boring as well as personally, I'm like a content creator. I think I'll struggle quite a bit to make good content out of Obsidian Flames because there's obviously just so many duds. You know, I can't bring myself to make a click big title over an otherwise extremely mid and subpar EX card. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, basically why this is relevant, looping back to GLC, is basically this is a chance to really push GLC in the direction of players who maybe get a bit bored and tired of standard. You know, this is like one of the reasons why I started looking to alternate formats myself. It's basically how my own alternate formats were made, is I got really bored of the Silver Tempest meta really quickly because it was basically just Lost Origin plus Lugia dominating. So it went from a somewhat diverse metagame to just being not very diverse at all, and just one or two decks in the top pedestals. So that got boring really quickly, and it led me to 
basically create my own alternate formats, and I really enjoy that. So I do think that stuff like GLC has a chance to really take off with these dud sets. But of course, you know, it does rely on the GLC community, of course, pushing it forward. I wouldn't necessarily say I'm a part of that community because I don't play in any of the events. I don't really do many videos on the format. I'm a big fan of it, and I would happily play TCG Live Standard. But of course, you know, the format is limited right now. There's obviously not as many players, and it's really just about growing the fan base so there's more players available. And, you know, it would be cool as well. I know this has been brought up in some other videos as well. If, like, GLC maybe wasn't as competitive as it's become, because it seems to be ultra try hard, the exact same 60 lists in every tournament, which... To be fair, in a tournament setting, that is understandable. You know, people are in it to win it. They're wanting to play the best version of their deck. But, you know, if GLC was its own version of a format on TCG Live, maybe not even just standard GLC, maybe its own format, quite literally, could replace theme. That would be cool as well. But yeah, it's really been Ember Power. There's nothing much else to say. So let me know what you think about GLC in the future. Do you think it's got a bright future? Do you think standard GLC could be a decent option? And yeah, it's been Ember Power, and thank you for watching.